All right, I'm all ready. I got like five and a half miles of uphill. My pack is very heavy. We added an extra liter of water because the stretch is very dry. And we have about like five and a half, six days of food. Diana told me, she's like, Jen, this is all we have to do today. All we have to do is climb this mountain. That's it. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna climb this mountain. One thing I want to mention, because I always get asked about it, and I should have brought it up before. This on my face, I had pink, now I have blue. It's to protect this big freckle. It's colored zinc oxide, just so it stays on my face, and it's colored, and it's fun. So that's that, in case you were wondering. There's these like teepee things all over the woods. Does anyone know the purpose of them? I have my guesses. Diana's convinced that's where they hide the bodies. So, it's just like collecting all the, the dry, the dry stuff and piling it. But if anybody like actually has a reason for it, I'd love to hear it. So I took a little break because I needed to go pee and there's no one out here, okay? I haven't seen a single soul. It's very quiet. So I just go right over here, I go pee real quick. And I look and there's a woman hiking up the trail who saw the whole thing and didn't say a word. And I just looked at her and I was like, wow, I am so sorry you had to see that. Like, I would have normally gone way back in the woods, but it's so quiet and there's no one here. She was like, yeah, I bet you didn't expect me to come around the corner. And I was like, no, I didn't. She saw everything. Why is it always right when you have to pee, someone finally comes around the corner or if you have to go to the bathroom? Why is it like that? Why? There's no one here. And I take, you know, 15 seconds to go pee and then finally some woman walks around the corner and comes up the trail and just sees me, you know, doing my, my thing. Why is it like that? But we're moving on. I just don't care. I don't have much, much shame out here in the woods. I mean, it's just like I'm filthy and smelly and I'm peeing and it just is what it is. So to move on, I wanted to show you all if you don't already know, one of my favorite things to do while backpacking, it like gives me that little bit of, I don't know, feeling like I'm in a, in a town or back home, like drinking something so tasty. So today, I always only have this in one liter. I have some orange, um, some orange, orangeness. What I love to do, and I always do it every morning, so I just drink it throughout the day, um, usually into the afternoon. What I do is I plop a noon tablet. This one is strawberry lemonade, but these have like great electrolytes and vitamins. Um, since I'm sweating a lot, I love these things because it just helps replenish what I'm losing. And they taste good, but it's a little diluted. So I try to find something with a similar flavor and then I grab 
a Mio energy. This flavor is strawberry pineapple smash. So I got the strawberry lemonade with the strawberry pineapple smash and I mix them together. These taste fantastic, like absolutely fantastic. Um, and this has a little bit of caffeine and some B vitamins. These Mio energies have like a lot of different, um, you know, just vitamins with no caffeine or it's just like a water enhancer flavor. Like there's no real like vitamins to it. It's just to make the water taste better. But I love mixing these two. So that's what made this today. And it tastes so good. And especially if you have cold water, it's just really refreshing. And it always gives me that little like perk that I need. So yeah, just a little tip. Um, if you go backpacking, maybe try something like that. I just showed Diana it on this trip and she's like, this is so good. She's like, um, I might even do this in my like normal routine in regular life, but it's just something I really look forward to, especially when I'm going up on a climb and I want to take a break. It tastes really good and it gives me some energy and vitamins and caffeine and it's just awesome. It's also a great drink to just sit here and contemplate the fact that some stranger just saw me literally naked from the bottom down peeing. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so tired, but I have about 0.8 more miles until I'm at the top. Ooh, this climb has been tough on me for some reason. I think it's just the heavy pack. Oh man, I can't wait to get there and rest. But this is my view, so I'm doing okay. Oh, there it goes. This is lunch view. It's not too bad. Do you want to know what this is? Oh yeah. That's right. Leftover pizza. Oh, little messy. I feel like I can see Reno from here. It's definitely Reno. Yeah, that's cool. You just walked to Reno. 
let's, said. let's walk to Reno. That's where we're going. The campground, because there's water. All right, so I'm showing you my gut hook app. And I'm, I'm right here where this black um, trail alternate sign is. Um, so we are actually gonna go to the right here because there's a campground, but what we really need is this water. It's only a little bit off trail and we'll reconnect um, over here where my thumb is. But yeah, we're, we're gonna go do this because there's no water and we, we need water. So there it is. There's a water pump at this Marlette Park campground and the pump wasn't working, so this was blacked out. But we've been told that it's working again. So it looks like they tried to um, take like the duct tape off or something. But yeah, there's water and yep, we're gonna head this way instead. Um, but the other trail goes that way. But water is important. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's so ten. weird. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wait, this is hard. Wait. Oh, wait. wait. What is it? We're never gonna get water. It looks like a little boy's urinal. Yeah. 